Hey guys, a few days ago I noticed that every time I used my saw on this little log I got here, uh, the worms were coming up out of the ground because the vibration was getting to them, so they were coming up out of the ground. And uh, I watched a video yesterday by a little doggy where he had bought a stick from somebody else that was on YouTube. They call it a worm getter. It was just a little stick about that long and it, it, had been, it had been turned on a lathe so it had several grooves in it and another stick you take just rub them together and make the vibration to uh, get the worms up out of the ground. I've known about that technique for a long time but I never have tried it. So I thought I'd try to make me one and uh, give me an opportunity to use my new Mora 511 knife that uh, Carolina Chris sent to me. He had a little giveaway on his channel and I won a knife. So uh, Let's try it out and see how it goes. Oh, I found a little Yopon. It looks like it ought to work pretty good. I'm going to cut one piece about two foot long. This will be the piece that we stick down on the ground, and then uh, I'll cut another another piece, and that's, that's what we're going to be rubbing it with. I'm going to go ahead and save the bark off of these. I don't know if it's necessary, but uh, I like to do that. The spine on this knife, I put a 90 degree edge on the back of it, so it works pretty well for this. I'm going to round these ends off <clears throat> so I don't have any sharp points sticking out of them. Keep it kind of sharp because that's what, that's what will be sticking in the ground. Here's what we got. This is going to be my rubbing stick, and this one I'm going to carve, I'll carve notches in it, so when I rub the stick up and down, it'll make a vibration. I don't really know what's the, uh, I don't know that if there's a right or wrong way of doing this. <laughs> the mosquitoes are terrible. Here's what I got. Pointing in, sticking the ground. We'll be shoving it in in this hand. Well, let's try it out and see how it works.
Well, I saw two and uh, found one. There's another one. There's two. Let's go try it somewhere else. They're really soft. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like a kid with a new toy. Well, I'm certainly amazed at how well this works. I wish I had tried it a long time ago. I did notice that it works better where we have oak leaves on the ground versus the areas that are only pine straw. I don't know if it's, I guess it's something to do with the soil that worms prefer. I don't know if it's going to work all through the summer or if it's just because we've had a lot of rains lately. Maybe the worms are up closer to the surface. I don't really know. I'll just uh, I'll keep trying throughout the summer and see if it continues to work as well. Pretty awesome. That's a lot of worms, and with very little work, and I might have spent maybe five minutes to make this. All you need, all you need, is a knife to do it. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Crazy how well that works. But there's another one. Something else we constantly have to be on the lookout for. Look at that little guy. about 10 feet away from where I was where I stuck that stick in the ground uh, that copperhead is awfully light colored if he was darker I probably wouldn't even seen him